بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so let's try to get into the configuration uh, and verification relating to the vrrp as i already said the configuration commands are not going to be much different than the hsrp so what i'll do is i'm going to quickly review the vrrp related configurations the concepts we have already seen in the hsrp and verifications also we have already seen in the hsrp options here okay so we'll try to quickly see the configuration so the first thing here as you can see i'm going with the same configuration example what we did with hsrp so i want to make sure that the switch one should be the master for the vlan 10 and the vlan 30 just the odd, odd numbers you can see the switch one and i'm going to make for vlan 40 and the 20 this should be the master for the other one if you want you can just add another uh, one more uh, one more uh, backup so which means now for the vlan 10 and 30 this is going to be the backup and for the vlan uh, 20 and 40 this is going to be the backup so there is no need to write the backup obviously the other one will be the backup okay so now to do this configuration so now most of the configurations goes under the vlan 10 and 20 like uh, 10 and 30 switch one will be the master now to make that possible what, what will be the configuration commands if you just quickly see the configuration commands we go to the vlan 10 and for the vlan 10 i'm going to give the priority value as uh, as you can see the priority value is 120 okay so for the vlan 10 and for the vlan 30 i'm going to give the priority value of 120 to make sure that the switch one is going to become the uh, master the same thing i have to do the same thing for the vlan 30 also i have to change the priority value the rest of the configurations remains the same the vrrp ip you can use any ip in fact i can use the same ip here as well if you want okay just make sure that you use the same ip on both the sides now same way on the opposite side we want the switch to should be for the vlan uh, 20 and 40 so i'm going to say for the vlan uh, anyway this is the switch one configuration so first we'll try to sort out the switch one configurations on the switch one this is going to be the master for the vlan 10 and for the vlan 30 this is going to be the master and for the other vlans it's a backup so the default priority value will be 100 uh, anyway if i don't give it anyway the default will be 100 the rest of the commands remains the same the preemption is already enabled so i don't need to enable the preempt here preempt command is not required additionally if you want you can enable the authentication uh, timers anyway one and three is the default so there is no need to change the timers as well here now likewise if you uh, try to see the same thing on the switch to on the switch to side we need to make sure that the switch to should be the primary for the vlan 20 and 40 so which means we have to configure the priority value command for the vlan 20 and as well as for the vlan 40 so the rest of the commands remains the same okay uh, for the vlan uh, 10 and 30 as it is a backup so we just give the ip and there's no need to give the priority value and make sure that you are using the same ip on both the sides so this is just a configuration example uh, anyway we can uh, while while we are implementing or while we are verifying verifying and in case you can just use a uh, different ips as per the scenario you can just go with any other ip as per the requirement but one thing we need to keep in mind uh, as you can see the ip address here on the switch one i'm using 192.168.1.100 and here i'm using 192.168.101 so the physical interface ips you need to use two ips right so for the same vlan uh, like uh, 2 dot 3 dot and 4 dot i'm using now the next thing this is a configuration on the switch one and switch two so this configuration is on the switch two where switch one is a master and the switched uh, and the switch two is a, a reverse one so we are just reversing this whereas the switch two is the master for the vlan 20 and 40 and it is a it is a backup for the vlan uh, 10 and 30 that's what we did now the additional configurations like i said if you want to do the tracking now we need to configure the track object so the first thing the uh, same like the track configuration is the same as what we did we can track either the interface or we can track the route reachability route 0000, 0, 0, 0 reachability whatever the track object will be using the track object here 
And we are saying that if this particular interface is down, automatically it is going to decrement the configuration by 30, which makes 90. The other one becomes 100, so it will automatically switch over the gateways. Now, where this command is applicable, only on the primary, so which means on the switch one, we have to configure this on for the VLAN 10 and the VLAN 30, because this is the master for the VLAN 10 and 30. And likewise, we have to do the same thing for the VLAN 20 and 40, this one, the 20 and 40, you can see this one. Okay, so 20 and 40, what we have to do, we have to configure the track object on the switch two. Uh, this track object will be done on the switch one. So whichever the device is a master, you have to do the tracking on that particular device only. Now, once we do the uh, tracking objects, uh, tracking commands, now the other commands, we can do the verification commands. Now, majority of the verification commands are similar, just like we use a show standby command in the case of HSRP. The standby command will be replaced with VRRP here. So the VRRP, which means I'll be using show VRRP to verify the VRRP configurations, or if you just want to verify all in one, or one line, we can use show VRRP brief. And if you want to specifically see a specific VLAN, we can use show VRRP interface VLAN 10. If you want to verify the configurations, we can use a show run section command. Of course, show track commands, show debug VRRP commands, or again, one of the other commands we can use for if you want to do some uh, debug verifications in the backend. Okay, so if you try to compare the configurations are similar, the majority of the commands, uh, we just replace the standby with VRRP. And there are there are a few things like preemption is enabled and rest of the configurations remains the same. So the entire verification part is also remains the same as if you're using HSRP or VRRP. So the only difference while you're doing the lab, you might add one more gateway where you can have one uh, master and the other to backup that will just increase the configuration commands, but at the end, it's going to be the same thing. So the, the, the entire configuration remains the same. So just refer the HSRP lab or the HSRP, which we did in the previous session. So you just need to replace a few of the configuration commands and do the same verification with VRRP as well.